Productivity growth measures the increased production of output over time and uh, it's what we leave to the future, the fact that we're having higher standard of living, higher consumption, higher production uh, decades from now. If you look at the next decade, the 2020 to 2030, you're going to see the lowest growth in the labor force ever. And all of those baby boomers that are retiring, they expect to continue to consume. So who's going to produce the things they consume? We've got to have a more productive labor force in order to make that happen. There's a lot of free goods out there now that just weren't there before, and those don't show up in GDP. So I'll give you an example. Back in 2000, there were about 80 billion photos taken in the world, and they cost about 50 cents a piece when you look at developing and uh, film. Last year, there were 1.6 trillion photos taken in the world, and they were basically free. So for the most part, that doesn't show up in GDP, but in the normal non-economic sense of the word, you'd have to say, gosh, photography has become a lot more productive. And as they got cheaper and cheaper, that had a positive, uh, positive effect on GDP until they had zero. And as soon as they had zero, they're out of GDP. No more quality growth could show up in that uh, product just by definition. So a lot of the products we've seen now, particularly digital projects, have become far cheaper, far higher quality, and yet they don't have a full impact on GDP. If you go back and look at electricity, it took 30 years for the productivity advances from electricity to really show up in GDP. And you could look at other big inventions, a gasoline engine, electric motors, same problem. Well, we saw a surge in productivity growth in the 90s, and most people attribute that to the widespread use of PCs, personal computing. And now, what's the device of the day? It's mobile phone. And if you look at mobile uh, services in general, consumers are very alert to how they're used, but I don't think they've really had as much impact on productivity yet as you might hope. We've got these great new technologies, that uh, have come out of Silicon Valley and other places, uh, and companies are still learning how to deploy them. I think there's going to be an increase in growth because we're going to see a lot of potential novel, uh, novel mechanisms used uh, for production.